Hi, in this video we'll talk about what is relay command and how we can use relay command in WPF projects. And then finally I'll show how we can use relay command in Tecla WPF plugin. So let's get started. Let's create new project. Search for WPF. .NET Core Hit Create button Let's call it Relay Command in WPF WPF Demo Hit the Create button So let's build the project. So once project built successfully, so we need to create few folders to implement the MVVM pattern. So for, we need three folders. The first called models. Second is views. The third is view models. Now you can drag this main window into views folder or leave it here is up to you. But anyway, if you drag into view, then you need to change the path of your startup URI, which is in app app.jml file so i leave it here for now so let's add one class into view model let's call it base view model this is public class and this class is inherit from I notify property change interface. So let's implement the interface. We need to create a one method protected void. Let's call it on property chained string name property change is not null then invoke sender is this new property change event org which is name So this is our base model. Let's create main main view model. Inherit from base view model. Right, so we need another clause class. Let's call it commands. So this class is public class and inherit from I command. So let's implement 
the interface okay so let's change it to add to command manager dot requery suggested can get in it value just copy paste over here but rather than can get in will take off so once this is finished so now we need private read only action let's call it execute second private read only funk of object you're turning a far billion so let's call it can execute well actually in action we need to pass an object so we select these two methods and click in quick action and refactoring and let's create a constructor for that so visual studio create automatic constructor for that that's awesome i like that so now we can say return can execute null or can execute parameters over here we need to say execute parameter so this is our i command class we will use that into our main base view class main view model so what we need now so we need a button let's see stop panel Create one button with a one fifty high twenty five content is select margin so we need to define a command in order to execute that button click event so in order to do that we need to create a property for public public commands so let's call it first command get him set ctor create a constructor for that now we need a method so let's call public void public void print name something like that so message 
box to show I from really command so first command equal new command which is predicator o goes to print name and the second parameter we could pass none for now we need to assign this command to the button command find pointing to the button before that we need to assign the windows data contact to the main view model so in order to do that let's xml and s it's called vm vm equals c l r name Space colon view models window dot data contact VM colon main view model. Right, so let's build project. everything looks fine so let's run the project icon relay command there we go so that's the relay command now we could use let's say we want to enable this button with a checkbox so when checkbox is checked enable this button otherwise disable so in order to do that could do uh, checkbox with this 150 this 25 and say What is the text or content? Content is check me is check property binding. We need another property. We need a property. Prop full tab tab boolean. is allow is allow on property change so we need to pass the name of the property which is this one now here I want to show you one more thing that we could actually need to go back to our base view model and we need to pass uh, attributes call what is called is called caller member name and we need to initialize this to empty string and that's it so now in now we can pass nothing here so it's just basically where it's calling from it will take automatically the properties so okay once we done this we could pass over here 
let's say again o goes to is allow right so is allow we need to pass binding to is allow so rebuild the project attributes are you missing successfully built let's run so now as you can see it's a disable you can't click it but if you as soon you click it it will enable the button once it's enabled by primarily command so that's it so this is how we can use relay command in WPF so now how nice it is if we can use same command in tecla wpf project rather than code behind so like for example from plugin we need to add in a button where user can pick the object and we need to retrieve some information from the model so in previously if you have already done so you need you create a click event and then a new task from there you can get all the information to the ui so in next video we'll we'll see how we can use relay command in tecla wpf that's it for now thank you guys see you later bye